Hi, what's your name? Jenny Horstick. Can you tell me about your family? Well, I was married more than 50 years till my husband died. He was 78 years old. His name? Walter. Any children? And then I had, we got married, and uh, I had Ron. He's in his 60s now. And 15 months later, I had my baby girl, Debbie. She's also, well, you figure 15 months later. And we bought our home in uh, 1958, around there. Okay. Any grandchildren? I have two grandsons, two great grandsons, and one great granddaughter. That's wonderful. So I understand that you are instrumental in maybe starting the Palmyra Garden Club, is that right? That I did. Tell me about that experience. Well, it was the end of 1983. In December, I was going from Palmyra to Hershey, and that way I drove Past, I had to go through the square and past the uh, uh, the area of the square, and we had one decoration there for Christmas. And I thought, well, garden club. I should start a garden club, and then maybe we could do something with this square. I was thinking of a live Christmas tree, of course. So I went home, and first, I believe, I called the extension office to see if it would be all right for Paul Mayer to start a garden club, have a garden club, because there's a county club, which I also belong to that, and Hershey Horticulture. So I started my round of calling after, uh, don't recall her name now. Sounds right. All right, that's okay. She, she was quite young. Then I called the municipal, Palmyra Municipal Building, and asked if we could meet there, if we could have a room to meet. And they said yes, and I said, must we pay rent? And they said, uh, no, not for a garden club, you wouldn't have to pay. Private people, of course, if they use it, I guess they pay. So, that was pretty well settled. We had a place to meet and, and it was okay. I see so, that you, it says you do a lot of native plants and flower beds. What do you put in the square? What kind of plants did you do if okay. you didn't do the tree? Or did you do the tree? Our first project was a Christmas tree for following years. And, uh, of course, a fir tree. So we went looking for a fir tree and had quite a few nurseries. So we got our tree and we put it in. And I thought we can also have a flower bed. So we did that also. Do you do perennials or annuals? Well, we did mostly annuals. And we put the flower bed in. And every year we kept doing different things. We did a lot in the very beginning. We, and when the club grew, we went, we had our first meeting 
in May of uh, 84, and we had 30, I believe it was 34 members showed up. But the next month, I think we were, I think we had just about doubled. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, I also see where you did uh, scholarships for high school students. For college. How did you raise that money? We had uh, d uh, sales. We had the uh, plant sale in the spring in probably May. We had the Christmas sale. We made wreaths and swags and different things for decorating your house. We made qu we made out pretty well. That's lovely. And then to give scholarships, were they like for people who wanted to study horticulture and things like that? Correct. That's really neat. Well, if you had to give some words of wisdom or some advice, uh, somebody looking you up in the future, what would you tell them? To do something for their community. Okay. Well, they have to see, uh, find a need for something. Like I found the need to improve the square, and we improved that square <laughs> two or three times. And now, well, this is a final. It, it's where it should be now. And the members did so much, and not only the members, their husbands. Uh, well, that's all I can think of. They f have to find a need for something. Don't do something foolish just to show and act it off. On it. And act on it. Don't sit back and expect somebody else to do it. Just do it, right? Oh, yes.